Who are you meeting with? St be she's nice. Team. You're just doing no one wants when the shoots the out. Of here. Here. Okay, no, no, no. Get the out of here and go. Get the out of here and go. No one wants you in the shoot. I'm planning it. Reality TV shows. They appear to be a recent phenomenon, gaining immense popularity with programs like Big Brother and Idols in the early 2000s. But if that's the case, what do shows like Keeping Up with the Kardashians have in common with 17th century artists like Vermeer, Jan Steen, and Peter de Hoog? Reality TV shows have been around almost as long as television itself. So, the Kardashians and Jenners were certainly not the first in the reality TV genre, but they have perfected it. A frequently asked question surrounding them is, what is it that they do exactly? Well, they are multi-million dollar personal brands, with hundreds of millions of Instagram and Snapchat followers between them. Besides so-called influencers, they're also entrepreneurs, mainly in fashion and beauty products and, not the least, philanthropists, supporting numerous charities all over the world. But, most important for us, the Kardashians and Jenners have been shaping the social media landscape for years now, utilizing its full potential and allowing their followers an even closer look into their world. It appears that they are tapping into a basic human need that we all possess. We want to watch other people. It allows us to identify with them, even if they're living completely different lives than our own. Why? Their lives may differ from ours, but their emotions don't. And the Kardashians and Jenners offer something extra. A glimpse into the world of glitter and glamour and the extravagantly rich. Watching other people. That's exactly what we do in art museums as well. Most of the people depicted in paintings we see in museums, just like the Kardashians and Jenners, were very wealthy. Simply commissioning a portrait was about a year's wages for a common worker. These portraits give us a glimpse of the lifestyle of the rich and famous from back in the day. However, it's pretty hard to identify with the different characters hanging on the museum walls as they are not displaying any emotion whatsoever. Fun fact, smiling on your portrait was simply not done. However, there is a genre that will allow you to identify with its characters. Daily life paintings. Painted depictions of people engaged in everyday activities already made their appearance in 16th century Flemish paintings, such as in Peter Balton's St. Martin's Day Kermis. Yet, paintings of seemingly daily life became truly popular in the 17th century. Many works by specialists in this genre, such as Jan Steen in particular, as well as Johannes Vermeer and Peter de Hoog, are found in the Rijksmuseum. One of de Hoog's typical features is an open door through which he seems to invite the viewer. As if he's saying, come on in, enter this house. Quite literally giving us the idea that we're welcome to look around. But things are not often what they seem. Some paintings contain salacious motives or had a moral lesson in them. If you want to learn more about these hidden symbols, check out our episode about memes, link in the description. When we take a closer look at the work of Vermeer, one thing stands out. As a viewer, you're kind of spying on the people. He often places his subjects behind some kind of barrier. This effective method to draw more attention to the subject is called framing within a frame, and is still used by cinematographers today. This all contributes to the feeling that you're actually spying on their daily activities. Vermeer was the master of the daily life genre, and The Milkmaid was one of his absolute masterpieces. But what's so captivating about her? And how has she become one of the most famous women in art history? One word probably sums this up best. Serenity. Serenity is what makes a Vermeer a Vermeer. Everything in this painting contributes to this feeling of serenity. That soft light seeping in from the window, just enough thanks to the small crack in the middle. The hundreds of colorful dots that play over the surface of the objects on the table. Everything in this painting, including the milkmaid herself, 
is perfectly still. Except for one thing, the small stream of milk that's pouring into the bowl. The serenity of the daily life subjects of Vermeer are in sharp contrast with the chaotic brothel and bar scenes of Jan Steen, filled with prostitutes and drunks. But all of these daily life paintings had one thing in common. They gave us a sneak peek into a world that was not our own, and by doing so allowed us to learn more about our own lives. We can only reflect on our own behavior by looking closely at others, whether it's on TV, in a museum or in real life. We love watching other people because it helps us understand who we really are. But what do you think? Is this art? Let us know whether you think keeping up with the Kardashians is art or not, and let us know your suggestions for future episodes of Is This Art. Thanks for watching.